Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Is Ava Jerome a friend or foe? Ava gets a big clue about who killed Austin in the General Hospital recap for Thursday, November 30, 2023. Nana called Michael's bluff, James played Mr. Fix-It, and Molly finally broke down in Christina's arms in this episode. Let's delve a little deeper into the details now. Ava barely had time to go into Windermer and grab a drink before Dante arrived. Of course, he had questions, and Ava played the game. She forced him to explain that Austin had been shot twice and was dead. She didn't even pretend to be surprised before naming her own suspects, which included Maxie. She then set about covering her own recordings. She had an alibi but no evidence. She had cameras that showed Austin going via the front, but no evidence of her leaving. Uh-oh. Later, when Ava was alone, she sorted through the mail and discovered a letter addressed to her. When she opened the mail, she saw a picture of a deceased Austin and a message that said, You're welcome. In terms of Maxie, she was treated to James acting as foreman to Cody's handyman. James persuaded Cody to build Georgie's desk before repairing the snack cupboard. Other home renovations and even a treehouse were on his list, but Maxie turned them down. James had a minor outburst over his refusal to let Cody spend the night. It's not fair that he's the only boy in the family. The turtles are also female. He hoped Cody was his sibling. Felicia flashed Cody as he was leaving, flatly denying Mac was his father. Michael was having a similar bad day. His father summoned him to the Metro court, only to be dragged to a table with Sonny and Nina. Sonny wanted to plan family time, specifically during Christmas Eve. He desired to spend the night with his family. Dex summoned Sonny over before the talk could get too deep. Pikeman had left him a message. Sonny was supposed to contact him right away. Michael accused Nana of using Sonny to get to Willow and the kids over at the table. Nana reminded him that they were family and Sonny would always want to see them. Michael then threatened to reveal her identity. Nana almost dared him to. She's already given her everything. She wasn't going to submit to his will any longer. Meanwhile, Sam and Christina got down to discuss Scout. Scout's education, to be specific. Christina praised Westwood Academy, where she attended, but added that Scout's feelings were as important. Why force a child to change schools if she didn't want to? Sam was hesitant to force a change, but she did want Drew to be a father. She did not, however, approve of his new dictating rather than asking attitude. Sam expressed her concerns to Dant after Christina left. When it came to parenting decisions, TJ and Molly both struggled to figure out what to do next. That meant talking to Portia for TJ. She encouraged him to resume his surrogate hunt straight away. After all, time waits for no one. Molly's mojo was rekindled after a visit with Willow and Amelia. Willow told her personal tale of miscarriage, pregnancy of a cancer, and raising Wiley. She didn't have a single regret. Molly took a time to process her emotions and browse over her file. She burst into tears on the bench, where Christina discovered her. Brooke Lynn Quartermain is under attack. Brooke Lynn is having a panic attack, according to General Hospital spoilers for December 1, 2023. Where does the stress she's feeling come from? Watch to find out. Brooke Lynn Quartermain recently won a significant victory. Gloria was able to put this Thanksgiving turmoil to rest because of her quick thinking. As a result, Uncle Pete's trombone-playing nephew will be joining one of the music manager's clients on tour. Fortunately, a conflict with the Russian mob was avoided. So, what's the deal with Brooke Lynn's sudden panic? Her panic attacks appear to be the result of family pressure. Naturally, there are several possible solutions here. Before leaving town, Grandma Gloria asked Brooke Lynn and Chase when they were getting married. Talk about putting pressure on a relationship. Is theirs prepared for the wedded happiness discussion? On the other hand, mentioning the terms family pressure raises another important dilemma. Is Tracy returning? Because if anyone can make Brooke Lynn nervous, 
It's her other grandmother. Isn't she supposed to return to Monica's place any day now? Best friends Ava, Maura West, and Nina are always exchanging confessions. After all, they both have interesting lives filled with secrets and lies. It's Ava's turn to open up to her pal. What will she show Nina this time? Would it have anything to do with Austin's death? Or what she and Austin did when he was still alive? Meanwhile, Christina, Kate Mansi, consoles Molly, Kristen Veganos, whose surrogate had a miscarriage recently. It's wonderful that the two have repaired their strained connection, and Christina can now console her sister without escalating into an argument. On that topic, will Christina tempt fate by offering to be a surrogate because Molly is set on finding a new surrogate? Who thought Carly, Laura Wright, would enjoy owning Kelly's? She's spending a lot of time there taking care of her clients, and she's even passed up purchasing back a half of the Metro Court. For the time being, remember when she lost it here. So, she should have an entertaining encounter there sooner, rather than later. Who will show up, and how will this encounter affect her life? Sonny, Morris Bernard, like his ex-wife, finds himself in an intriguing circumstance of the proposition. Dex, Evan Hofer, already relayed a cryptic message to his boss. Now he's considering a new suggestion. Will this be dangerous? More significantly, will he become overprotective as a result of this proposition? In case you missed it, Soap Hub's very own in-house critic provides his, sometimes, sharp and passionate criticism of the previous General Hospital week every Sunday. If you miss their most recent review, click here to catch up, and then provide your thoughts in the comments section. GH is currently in exclusive company. It is no longer sufficient for a network to simply broadcast their television programming in this day and age. They must not only create a production out of it, teasers and trailers galore, but also use social media and streaming platforms as backup. Fortunately, as General Hospital's Morris Bernard just discovered, it all pays off. Sonny Corinthos, a multi-talented artist known to millions of fans, featured in a video broadcast to the Soap's official X, previously Twitter, account in which he unboxed a plaque thanking General Hospital on attaining 100,000 subscribers to their YouTube channel. Bernard, who achieved the target with his vlog State of Mind, noted that it was no simple task and expressed gratitude to fans. It's always you too. We wouldn't have these things if it weren't for you people. I know it's cliche, and I say it all the time, but it's real. We would not receive plaques. We'd receive no ratings. We would not receive anything. The emphasis is on anything. Bernard thanked those who watched once more and expressed his pride in the show he's called home since August 13, 1993. The General Hospital account, like the actor, expressed gratitude and a playful challenge. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe, they wrote. It means everything to everyone on hashtag GH. And what are you waiting for if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet? Visit GA's YouTube channel to see the wealth of stuff on offer, which includes spoiler previews, video from aired and forthcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes delights, and more. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.